Good morning viewers, time for another episode in the vlog. Today is a wonderful sunny Sunday morning and uh, we're heading in the western part of Trinidad to do this vlog. Alright, there are so many things that is in this wonderful country that is untapped. And today we're gonna, the topic of today is Diggo Martin. What does Diggo Martin have to offer? for tourism all right but let's head to that monster intro on an area called Digo Martin so first thing we're gonna touch on is the two iconic Calypsonians that live or have houses in Digo Martin so the first one is Reno Rama which is the house of the Lord Kitchener and is also Reno Rama Studios right big hits come out of there right because um, songs like Palance and um, songs that some some of the songs that Cohen Dubois may have sung came out of that studio. So that is a historical and an important place within the confines of Diego Martin. The second one is Lord Sparrow's house, which is located on the other side, which is Pity Valley. All right, and uh, he lives right behind daybreak and that also is a, a, a iconic or historical landmark so anytime you know you, you're heading down on the main road you would definitely not miss the reno rama studios so we're heading on to the next item of interest in digo martin that makes digo martin what digo martin is let's head to that Hi viewers, so wow, you see you see the purpose of research and understanding and learning your country. So we only know this as a drop off point for most taxis, right? For most taxis people say we're going down in the estate um, by the water wheel, you're passing by the water wheel. But I never really knew what the water wheel, the importance of the water wheel. So this device, what they used to use this device was for, was to process sugar cane. And it was powered by water. Not steam, not man, not cattle. It was by water. And this entire area, which we call River Estate, right, was purchased by a gentleman back in the 18th century. And he, with purchasing it, he got 230 slaves with the with the um, estate and uh, this was basically a sugar refinery area right but this device I didn't know that this device had so much of use I just thought it was a water wheel you know something fancy like a water fountain but I didn't understand that this device here was used for the processing of sugar all right let's move to the next item and a strenuous kind of I get no shucks I am filthy drugs So, 
Right now we are on the third spot. And this is called Blue Basin Waterfall, which is nested within the estate. Remember we were talking about the estate lower down by the water wheel? Right, this is Blue Basin Waterfall. Isn't this something magical? Isn't this something worth coming to see? Something worth the experience? This is just one, again, out of the many gems that Digo Martin has to offer. Alright viewers, so as we leave the waterfall in Blue Basin, we're heading up to a place called the End Post Road, which is just high up, just, just a bit high up from the Blue Basin waterfall and up on top here, the view is breathtaking. Alright, and as you see, you could see the entire Atlantic Ocean and parts of Florida Spain from up on top here. So, I mean, if you've never seen this before and you live Trinidad and Tobago, you definitely need to see this. Okay, so I hope that in this episode of the vlog that you learn something, you get to see something today that you never saw about Trinidad and Tobago. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time we upload.